Combine tile and wood flooring? Easy process, when it comes to interior design, flooring plays a crucial role in setting the tone and style of a space. Both tile and wood flooring have unique appeal and practical benefits, but why choose one when you can combine them? Mixing both can create a new dimension and beauty to your interior. For a seamless blend of tile and wood flooring, establish a transitional area that bridges the gap between the two surfaces while confirming a level subfloor. Independently lay the tile and wood, meticulously aligning each substance. Incorporate a sleek transition element to accomplish a flooring combination that is both visually captivating and harmonious. This guide takes you through a step-by-step -step process to seamlessly combine tile and wood flooring, achieving a harmonious and sophisticated aesthetic. So stay with me. Gather material, nails glues click lock systems transition strips reducers duration, 30 to 35 minutes cost, $40.68 simple steps to combine tile and wood flooring, though the process can be long, making tile and wood combined flooring is quite simple if you follow the process. Here is a step-by-step -step guide to lead you through. Step 1. Planning and design before diving into the installation process, take some time to plan and design the layout. Decide which areas will be covered with tile and which will feature wood flooring. Consider the overall flow of the space and how you want the different flooring materials to interact. Common approaches include using tile in entryways, kitchens, and bathrooms while wood flooring works well in living areas and bedrooms. Step 2. Prepare the subfloor before installing the flooring materials. Ensure the subfloor is clean, level, and dry. This step is crucial as it helps prevent any unevenness or moisture-related issues that could arise later. Depending on the type of tile and wood flooring you choose, the subfloor requirements may vary, so be sure to follow the manufacturer's guidelines. Step 3. Install the tile flooring start by installing the tile flooring in the designated areas. Follow the proper techniques for your chosen tile type, whether it's ceramic, porcelain, or natural stone. Use spacers to maintain consistent grout lines, and take your time to achieve a professional finish. Allow the tile to set and dry according to the recommended time frame. Step 4. Install the wood flooring once the tile flooring is in place and fully dried, proceed to install the wood flooring in the adjoining areas. Take care to align the wood planks properly and ensure a level surface. Depending on the type of wood flooring, for example, solid hardwood, engineered wood, you may need to use nails, glue, or click lock systems for installation. Step 5 Create a smooth transition Now comes the crucial step of creating a smooth transition between the tile and wood flooring. The transition piece should fit snugly between the two materials, disguising any gaps and providing a clean, finished look. You can use transition strips, reducers, or other molding options that complement the design of your space. Step 6. Finishing touches after the flooring is installed and the transition is in place. Inspect the entire area for any imperfections or gaps. Make any necessary adjustments to ensure seamless integration once you're satisfied with the result. Spotless the floor to remove any debris or dust. 5 Tips About Methods of Combining Tile and Wood Flooring Combining tile and wood flooring can add a unique touch to your home's interior design but requires careful planning and execution. Here are some essential tips to help you achieve a seamless and visually appealing blend of these two materials. 1. Choose complementary materials. Select tile and wood flooring materials that complement each other in terms of color, style, and pattern. Look for hues and textures that harmonize well, creating a cohesive transition between the two surfaces. Take samples home to see how they look together under different lighting conditions. Two. Create a transition zone, establish a transition zone between the tile and wood areas to soften the boundary and create a more natural flow. A small hallway, foyer, or area between rooms can serve as an excellent transition space. Consider using decorative elements like mosaics or patterns that blend the two materials gradually. 3. Consider tile size and pattern. The size and pattern of the tile can play a significant role in achieving a harmonious blend. 
Large format tiles may work better with more giant wood planks, while smaller tiles can complement narrower wood boards. Experiment with different layouts to find the most appealing combination. 4. Separate the areas. You can use thresholds or transition strips to create a clear distinction between the tile and wood flooring. These pieces hide gaps between the materials and add a polished finish to the overall look. 5. Regular maintenance. Once the flooring is installed, it's essential to maintain it properly. Follow the manufacturer's recommendations for cleaning and maintenance to preserve the beauty and longevity of the combined flooring. 4 Mistakes to avoid when combining tile and wood flooring Blending tile and wood flooring offers an exciting opportunity to craft a visually captivating space full of dynamism. Nonetheless, Achieving a flawless and successful outcome requires vigilance against typical errors that might otherwise yield unsatisfactory results. Here are key missteps to evade while navigating the various stages of merging tile and wood flooring. 1. Inaccurate measurements. Precision is crucial when combining tile and wood flooring. Inaccurate measurements can lead to misaligned patterns, uneven transitions, and wasted materials. Always measure twice and cut once to ensure a proper fit and a polished finish. 2. Poor tile layout. In order to achieve a professional look when installing tile, the layout is crucial. Don't make awkward cuts, use uneven grout lines, or align patterns incorrectly with wood floors. 3. Overlooking expansion gaps. The expansion gap between tile and wood flooring increases as temperature and humidity change. Neglecting to leave sufficient gaps can result in buckling, warping, and costly repairs. 4. DIY installation without experience. Although DIY projects can offer satisfaction, tile and wood flooring fusion demands specific expertise. Inexpert installations may result in expensive errors and an outcome that falls short of expectations. If uncertainty arises, Contemplating the engagement of a skilled professional installer is advisable to guarantee an impeccable final result. FAQs, can I combine tile and wood flooring in any room of my home? Combining tile and wood flooring can work in various rooms, but it's essential to consider the function and moisture levels. While it's suitable for living areas, kitchens, and bedrooms, it's best to avoid bathrooms, as excessive moisture can damage wood flooring. For bathrooms, opt for tile flooring throughout or choose wood look tiles for a similar aesthetic. What is the best way to transition between tile and wood flooring? A smooth and visually appealing transition between tile and wood flooring can be achieved using transition strips or moldings. These pieces are designed to create a buffer zone, helping the two materials blend together gracefully while concealing any gaps. Choose transition pieces that complement the design and color scheme of the flooring for a polished finish. Can I install tile and wood flooring myself, or should I hire a professional? While combining tile and wood flooring can be a DIY project, it requires some level of experience and skill. If you're confident in your abilities, proceed cautiously, following installation guidelines closely. However, Hiring a skilled installer is recommended for a flawless and professional outcome, especially if you're unfamiliar with flooring installations. What are some popular combinations of tile and wood flooring? An often favored choice involves incorporating wood flooring within living spaces and bedrooms and using tile for kitchens and entryways. When opting for light-hued wood floors, they can be skillfully matched with tiles in neutral tones, whereas darker wood varieties harmonize effectively with tiles displaying earthy or warm hues. Embrace the opportunity to explore diverse materials and patterns, allowing you to discover a fusion that perfectly aligns with your personal style and preferences. Can I mix different types of wood or tile for a more eclectic look? Mixing different types of wood floors and tile combinations can create a unique and eclectic design. However, Exercise caution and ensure that the materials complement each other in terms of color and style. Stick to a cohesive color palette and consider consulting with an interior designer to achieve a balanced and visually appealing combination. Can I combine different types of tile, such as ceramic and porcelain? Combining different types of tile, such as ceramic and porcelain, 
is possible if they have similar thicknesses and installation requirements. Ensure they complement each other in color and style for a harmonious look. Consider using transition strips or patterns that